You are joining Making a Difference with Melissa Clark, a new show that shares the compelling stories and voices of well-known and everyday people who change the world in big and small ways. Enjoy our guests. Call in or just listen to be inspired for this show was made with you in mind. Please join us every Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with our special guests. And you can listen to our recast at www.melissaclarkshow.com. Thank you so much for joining us on Making a Difference. We can all use a break from the stress of everyday life, and since we are in the season of giving, we wanted to give you the gift of meditation with Sherry A. Smith. Sit back, relax, and escape. Welcome. Today we will practice a meditation that will allow you to release, to find some calm, and to relax the mind and body so that you can go forth in the rest of this holiday season, in the rest of this month of December as we end the year, this stressful, crazy year. We'll begin with some sound healing. So if this is your first time meditation or your second or you, you continue to practice consistently, I want you to begin to find your breath and become rooted in the present moment. When we take time to find our breath and listen to ourselves, we activate that parasympathetic nervous system. We go into our minds and our bodies so that we can have clarity and so that we can relax and release everything that we're carrying with us from the year. So find your breath, notice the way that it moves in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just begin to check in with yourself and just breathe. This is your moment for you. Begin to check in with each breath. Notice how your chest and your diaphragm feel as you take deep breaths in and then release each breath Right now, I want you to set an intention for yourself. How will you begin to vibrate higher? What things will you release today? Take a deep breath in to receive your intention. And take a deep breath out, releasing anything that stands in the way of you believing that you can achieve that intention that you have set for yourself. Each breath in is going to fill you up with everything that you need All the resources that you need are already within you. And each breath out is a release. 
I want you to visualize everything that is standing in the way of you actualizing the higher vibration that you have set for yourself. Become rooted in your seat, back straight. The crown of your head should be facing upward. Make sure you are fully aligned as you breathe in these intentions that you are setting for yourself. And on your next deep breath in, I want you to move into taking cleansing breaths. These are breaths that you can feel and that you can hear each breath as you exhale, deepening the release. Only you know what you need to release today. Is it stress? Is it tension? Is it anxiety? Is it pressures from work, school, or your home life? Is it your to-do list? Is it your thoughts about this year and 2020 and what it is and what it was not? Begin to release with each breath and fill yourself up with positive intentions. With the intention that you have set for yourself today. With love and with fearlessness. On your next breath, I want you to take a cleansing breath. Breathing in, receiving, and on your breath out, I want you to hear the exhale that you take. Releasing the thing that you named today. Put your hands on your diaphragm. Feel yourself as you breathe in, your stomach expanding, and breathe out. Your stomach moving to your back, fully releasing each breath. Begin to take a cleansing breath, breathe in, and breathe out. Hear your release, feel the release, breathe in. And breathe out. One more time, what is it that you're letting go? What is it that doesn't serve you in this space that you are in? Breathe in. And breathe out. Return to your regular breathing. Checking in with yourself fully. I invite you to check in with your body doing a full body scan, start at the top of your head, your crown chakra, and send waves of relaxation to this area. What does it feel like to relax the top of your head? Is the tension in your forehead Relax the space in between your eyebrows. We you carry a lot of tension here. Relax your eyelids and your nose. Continuing to move down, relaxing each part of yourself. 
paying attention and being mindful of the areas that you're serving right now. Unclench your jaws. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Relax your neck and shoulders. You carry a lot of tension here as well. Lots of stress, lots of pressure. Spend a moment here, relaxing. Continuing to move down, relax your chest, your stomach and abdominal area. Relax your pelvis in your bottom area that you are seated on today. Remember that you are grounded in the intention that you set for yourself in this moment to relax and to release. Relax your thighs. Relax your legs. Moving the energy down your whole entire being and relaxing. Your first purpose is simply to exist. It's simply to breathe. Relax your feet as they carry you throughout your day. Become fully present in your own body. Noticing which areas were a little bit harder to relax. We carry stress in our bodies. Where are you carrying your stress today? And then I want you to agree to release. Release thoughts that don't serve you. Release. This is your moment for you. It's your moment to relax. It's your moment to be fully present in yourself. It's your moment to fill yourself up with everything that you need to be the higher version of yourself on the day to day. A moment for self-care is not selfish. We must serve ourselves first in order to serve every other role that we have in our lives. We must serve ourselves so that we can show up fully, so that we can take up space, in ways that serves ourselves and others positively. How are you showing up for yourself today?
What things can you fill yourself up with so that you can serve your highest good? Each breath in, is powering your entire being with more of your intention, with more purpose, with more compassion, with more self-love. with more emotional understanding. Take a deep breath in to receive. And breathe out and release. On this journey, and through this year, you might find it exceptionally hard to make time for yourself, to make time to relax and check in. But every moment that you try, every moment that you take for yourself, that you align yourself with your breath, You serve your highest good. With each breath in, you are nourishing yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. You're preparing yourself for the journey that you have to make when you open your eyes. Take a moment and show yourself gratitude for taking some time for you. For connecting with your breath. for nourishing yourself with bread. Our breath roots us in the present moment because you cannot take a future breath without first exhaling the breath that you already have. And you cannot retrieve a breath from the past. When we connect with our breathing, we are simply in our present moment. When we connect with our breath, we put ourselves in a state of clarity, of release, of purpose. Now I want you to set an intention for the rest of your day. What things did you release that are not serving you as you move forward? What things will you leave right here on your mat today? What layers are you shedding? Fully envision this higher version of yourself as you move forward.
continue deep breathing. Continue harnessing more of your personal power. Vibrating to the sound of the sound ball and the frequencies that it emits. I want you to know that your intention is also vibrating fully from a place of higher understanding of you and those around you. Take a deep breath in. And release. Begin to move your shoulders back, rotating them, releasing any pressure that you still may have in your shoulder area. And then move them forward. Begin to feel your feet and your legs. Coming back into your full state of consciousness. Feeling the release, carrying with you your intention that you set for today. What will you take along with you? Do you believe that you deserve to take good things? Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Bring your hands up and over your head, above you, into prayer hands, and down to your chest. Now I want you to repeat after me. I am in charge of my calm. My mental strength can get me through any obstacle that I face. I give high vibrational love to myself and others. I release everything that does not serve me. I want you to believe that, allow it to resonate with you. Thank you for allowing me to serve with you today. to release some things, to move forward in our purpose, and to root ourselves in our breath with gratitude, 
Namaste. Sherry A. Smith, thank you so much for joining us today. That was so wonderful. I'm so calm right now. I had such a hectic day and you put me in such a wonderful mood and I hope that I'm sure that you helped our listeners and we thank you so much for being with us today. I'm honored to serve today. Thank you. How long have you been doing this for, Sherry A? Um, I've been practicing meditation and yoga in my personal life for about 10 years. Um, but for my business, I have been doing this professionally for four years. Um, I own a company called Yay Self Care, where I go into different corporate spaces and small businesses, and I teach people how to incorporate workplace wellness. Our wellness journey is definitely aligned with our business journey, and we can perform better. We can conquer our goals better when we incorporate different contemplative strategies into our work routines. And so I'm very passionate about educating people about business wellness and personal wellness with that. I also have a nonprofit organization called Melanin Girls Club, Inc., and we go and we bring wellness to underrepresented um, communities, and we provide different um, events and things like that so that people can have wellness um, at a discount, you know. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm looking at all of your um, certificates here. You have a certificate of psychology from and well-being from Yale University? Yes. Wow. God bless. Yeah. And then you hold two bachelor's degrees from Indiana University. Uh, so you're into psychology and um, education. Oh, education is very important. How do you combine your holistic healing and education together? Well, for one thing, I love to let people know, and I do a lot of education with um, young girls as well, teaching the science behind this. And so a lot of people don't know, um, I started off really studying science. And um, I think that people need to understand, a lot of people think that meditation or yoga and things like that is all this kind of woo-woo, um, hippie kind of magical thing, but we're actually activating our parasympathetic nervous system when we engage in things like that, which is something that we normally do automatically while we're sleeping, but we can actually encourage this process through a conscious state. And so when we're doing this, um, it, it's a science to it. And so the more people understand the how we're actually activating the nervous system, how we need to do this um, on a daily in order to preserve our sanity after this year for one. Um, yeah. But you know, we really need to incorporate this into our routines, whether it be at work or in our personal lives. And, and so I'm very passionate about educating people on that. And it's especially important this year because there's so much change going on in the world. And, uh, and we definitely need this right now. Uh, thank you so much. I know that you're based out in Illinois, so you're doing Zoom lessons. Is that right? Yeah. So you can sign up for classes with me at www.yayselfcare.com. Um, you can visit me on Instagram at Melanin Yay. Um, and if you want me to come into your corporate space or your small business and teach mindful strategies um, and bring wellness to the workplace, you can email me at info at yayselfcare.com. When I do my meditation, I talk to my friends. They're like, I don't have time for that. I, I can't get silent. What advice do you give? Because I find myself, I know I'm crazy in this world here, but I let everything go for that moment because we need it. So what advice would you give to somebody? Yes, I would say that you can't afford not to check in with yourself. You have to find something that you can do to really allow yourself to detox because we don't rise to the occasion when we're presented with a challenge, we sink to our level of training and preparation. And so when you take time to take care of yourself, you allow things to come at, because life is gonna throw things at you regardless. There is no stopping it. There's sometimes you can't stop the hectic schedule that you may have. Um, and so instead of having those days and moments where you're breaking down all of the time because you haven't taken the time to check in with yourself, when you incorporate something and you make the time because we make the time for what we want to make time for. We, we'll drop, 
you know, everything to do something for someone else. But then when it comes to ourselves, sometimes we can have trouble with making the time. And so when you make the time for yourself and you incorporate self-care, whether it be meditation, whether it be mindfulness, as you're doing something that you really love, like cooking or cleaning or working out, um, just and start a little bit each day or a little bit every week and then build up. You don't have to start off meditating for 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Sometimes as little as three minutes a day is a start and it will get you an intention that you can set and carry on with you for the rest of the day. So just start. Thank you so much. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. If you have a vegan product, make your vegan claim official with the only accredited vegan trademark in the world. Visit www.beveg.com. That's www.beveg.com to apply now. Making a Difference is sponsored by Preferred Health Magazine. Please visit www.preferredhealthmagazine.com today and subscribe.